Hello everyone, welcome to the developers and coders club of NIT Agartala. So today we are going to solve educational code forces round 151 rated for division 2. First question that is forbidden integer. So let's read the question. You are given an integer in which you want to obtain. Okay. You have an unlimited supply of every integer from 1 to k except integer x. Okay. So we, we are given two things. First integer is n and another integer is k. And from 1 to and one more integer is given x. So from 1 to k natural numbers, we cannot use x. Okay. You are allowed to take an arbitrary amount of each of these integers. Can you make the sum of taken integers equal to n? Okay. If there are multiple answers, print any of them. So we have to choose any number of integers from this 1 to k except x so that the resultant sum will be equal to this integer n. Okay. So, okay. Let's check the logic. The logic behind this is that suppose if k equal to 1. Okay. Suppose if k equal to 1 then we have only one integer one okay so x will also be one definitely because in question it is given that all of x k and n are starting from one so if k equal to one then x will also be one okay so yes so if k equal to one and x equal to one then x is denoting that you are not allowed to choose this integer okay so only one integer is given one and you are not allowed to choose this integer one so your output will be simply no so there are two cases that two cases that if k equal to one then your answer will be simply no then your answer will be no okay now in the second case that is if k not equal to 1 then if k not equal to 1 then k will be what k will be 2 3 wait then k will be what 2 3 4 and so on okay means k will be any number of integers okay from 2 to up to infinite okay and x will be what x will be only one integer either one two three or anything but in between one to k okay so suppose in second case in first case k equal to one then answer will be no then if k not equal to one means if k is this if k equal to two three four or something else then our integer will be our whole range will be 1, 2, 3, up to, up to k, okay, k will be anything from this and from this thing, we do not have to use x, x is some number from 1 to k and we do not have to use x from this, okay. So in this also we have two cases. Suppose if x equal to 1, okay, then you cannot use 1 for the sum. Okay, but if x not equal to 1, then you can easily use 1 as sum, means you can easily choose 1 in many number of times such that the sum of all those ones equal to n. Okay, so in second case there are more two cases that if x not equal to 1 if x not equal to 1 then your answer will be yes then your answer will be yes and what is your output that is if x not equal to 1 then you can choose one infinite number of times means you can choose one that number of times so that your summation will be n so choose one n times so that 
your sum will be will be n okay so yes your sum will be n so yes you can choose one n number of times so if x not equal to 1 and if x equal to 1 then that one is this case so if x equal to 1 then you cannot choose 1 okay so the, your remaining things are 2 3 4 up to k so in this case what you can do in this case you can do is just you cannot choose 1 okay so write down here that 1 i cannot choose okay so you have to choose something else from 1 so that your summation will be n so now there are two cases that if any n is even or n is odd suppose n is n is 5 okay if suppose n is 5 then we can subtract lowest integer 3 from this okay we can subtract lowest integer 3 from this then what is the remaining thing the remaining thing is 2 okay if suppose we choose 9 okay so subtract 3 from 9 so 1 you have chosen 3 and the rest oh god okay suppose you have chosen 9 then first integer you can choose is 3 and the rest you can choose is 2 okay the basic thing is this you have chosen 3 then remaining summation is 6 so 2 4 6 okay so if your n is if your n is odd then you can do like this f and if your n is even then simply print 2 that number of times that summation is n suppose if n equal to n is even that is suppose n equal to 8 then you can print 2 4 times okay so here it is the case that if n is even then your answer will be yes and you can print n you can print 2 up to that times such that sum will be n okay but if your n is not even suppose n is odd then two cases are there if suppose k is 2 if k equal to 2 then your wait, if suppose If suppose k equal to 2, okay. If k equal to 2, then you have only two integers 1 and 2. You have to choose only from these two things, okay. And in this case, your summation is odd, okay. Your summation is odd. And in the very first case, you have already seen that we have taken k equal to 1 so if k equal to 1 sorry if x not equal to 1 if x equal to 1 then this yeah okay so in this case in this case we have seen that x not equal to 1 so uh, in this whole case in this whole case in this case what is our x our x is 1 our x is what our x is 1 x is 1 okay so we do not have to choose 1 okay we do not have to choose 1 so only one integer is remaining 2 then how it is possible that summation of 2 is odd okay so we, we in this case we have to consider one more case is that if k equal to 2 
then our output will be no okay and in this our output will be yes and what will be output that first we have we will print three and then we will print two up to that times such that our sum will be up to that times that our sum will be n okay so this is the basic code also we have to print uh, how many integers we have printed okay so we can easily print that let's check the code firstly we have taken test case then we have taken input n k and x 10th means suppose 10 3 and 2 okay then we have applied those cases the very first case is what k equal to 1 then we have applied if k equal to 1 then our output will be our output will be simply no okay and in else we will put all these cases if k equal to 1 then our output will be no and else then in else we will put all the cases then in the second case is what if x not equal to 1 see here if x not equal to 1 then our output will be what our output will be yes and if x not equal to 1 then you can use 1 infinite number of times so you will use 1 up to that time so that your sum will be equal to n so print n and from 1 to n print 1 okay and if this case is also not there then which case is this uh, this one if x not equal to 1 then the these rest of the cases will go in x equal to 1 okay so then in else we will put these cases that if n modulo 2 equal to 0 that is our n is even so if n is even if n is even then our output will be yes and we will print that that much times 2 okay if suppose n is 10 then we will print 2 5 times okay so we have printed 2 from 1 to n by 2 okay and uh, again else if this case is also not there then if n is odd then if n is odd then two cases are there if k equal to 2 then c out no if k not equal to 2 then we have to print yes so in this if k equal to 2 c out no and else c out yes and we have to print 3 one time and 2 remaining times so c out this this is the number of times we have printed 3 and 2 and c out 3 and c out 2 so this is the basic code I hope you can easily understood this. If you are not able to understood this, then you can easily you can miss just repeat the video again. And you if you have any doubt, then you can comment down below.